uh, component making at the moment is uh, for the suspension on, I believe it's a suspension part on the model truck, so I'm not sure what scale. Let's see what it comes out like when it's finished. At the moment it's rounding the top off and I roughed it out and there were some large steps on it from the roughing truck. Hopefully this is uh, going to finish it all off just nice. It's looking quite smooth so I'm hopeful that we'll get a nice good job out of it. We'll see what it's like when it's So here we are again and uh, as you can see on this work piece here the cutter decided to cut into it, I don't know why. Uh, probably because I never nominated this surface. Uh, so I've uh, rerun the uh, cam again and we'll see what happens. Now this is that little uh, suspension part for a model truck. Somebody asked me to make them for them. It's taken a lot more than I I first anticipated in uh, getting the program to run nicely. There were a couple of gouges of the part which I couldn't figure out what had gone wrong so I changed the, the method, uh, the finishing method and it seems to have done the trick. Um, I would misplace the, the, the start point slightly out so there's a little bit not machined here. I'm not too concerned about that because it's it's irrelevant. I was purely trying this out to see whether my uh, machine uh, would work the program, and it, it seems to be doing the business. Um, and I've also programmed it to do the, the spotting of the holes and the drilling. So I'll see what that goes like. Uh, Well these are the truck components, I'll just point out the site, the gouge, or some problem with the program anyway. If you see here, this part here has, uh, it's gouged out, it should, this smooth, this uh, radius here should blend with the end radius, and also along the top edge there's a slight bit of interference from uh, the uh, end mill that uh, did the rounding of the corners so that was a problem with that one uh, this was a first attempt tool path I don't know what it was playing at it just decided it was going to go down into the metal and so that's when I had to rethink and attempt number two I put some uh, barriers to uh, in my uh, cam programming to stop the tool trying to go below this surface here. So it's all my own fault, but never mind. I'm living and learning. Uh, the drilling went really well. On this one, I've got a set of drills which I bought, they were cheap ones, and they they leave a horrible finish. They, 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 raise, they raise edges uh, on the holes. You can see very slight edge. They're not very good at all. On this one, you can see I didn't quite, I wasn't very careful where I placed my uh, zero for the uh, start of the operation. However, it it's proved the the point that that gouge isn't there, uh, and that was the main thing for me. And also, I think the rounding of the corners, the smoothing off, has gone a, bit, a lot better on this on this one. There's a slight mark on there. I don't know that that I think that's the tool went across there but I would think whoever is going to use these will probably dress them slightly they'll be painted anyway no doubt so that's pretty good next operation for this will be to uh, cut the slot in here and then dress off to thickness but uh, basically the bulk of the job is done with with this profile Hi there, we're uh, currently machining a fixture for holding this component here so I can machine the back face of it and machine it down to thickness. Um, these are components for a model truck I believe. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. These uh, are just two blocks of mild steel which I'm using as a, a soft yours. 
I'll cut the profile out down to about 3mm deep and then uh, once that's done I will uh, cut away part of it so beneath there so that I can sit the, the component flat on the flange on the underside of the flange and machine the top part while it's gripped in the vise but we'll see how it goes. Here you get some idea of the shape of the component. It's just coming around. I've just checked that it was cutting correctly, so it's coming down for its second cut now. There we go, and you can hear it's uh, cutting. Uh, there you see the cord sitting through. I use fruit cam for the uh, The eagle eye will have spotted is that I'm using a drill chuck for holding an end mill. It's really not recommended practice, however, I didn't have the available collet for this uh, cutter. It's a 4mm cutter, and I just haven't got any collets. I will, uh, in, I will be buying some quality size cutter here. Uh, that's it, just about finished. In fact, that is the job finished. We'll take a look see see how the profile is and that's pretty good that's about two and a half millimeters deep it's just what I need for gripping the the components um, basically you put the component into that depression there as I say I will be cutting a slot out of here to accommodate the larger uh, the, the depth of it but the flange will sit on this part here uh, and a bit across here and a bit across here. The rest of it is, is, will fall through basically. Um, but I'll show you when it's finished. I think I'll do some hand milling to get this, uh, the rest of it to fit. It's uh, more than it's worth to set up a program for it. The, the, the way it grips is I've got two sheets of uh, paper between these two blocks. You can just see the seam down here. Once that's apart, you take the two pieces of paper out, obviously, and then when you put your component in, the vice, is, the vice will uh, hopefully grip it just sufficiently. One thing I have to do, of course, is to check that the part does fit. It may be that I might have to run the program and tell lies to the computer that the uh, cutter is uh, smaller in diameter than it actually is, so that it cuts it larger. There you see the half sheet of paper. The profile. There we see the clamp more or less in action. It's cutting air at the moment. The next pass or so will probably cut some uh, metal. We'll see. It's just about to finish this cut anyway, or this pass. It might, might take two passes before it actually gets down to the metal. I'm not too bothered. It's just to try the the vice or the, the soft jaws out and see if they work properly. Let's see. I just used a conversational in uh, Pathpilot to uh, uh, program the piercing. The down feeds very slow. I uh, usually have had too many uh, accidents with too fast a down, down feed so I, I tend to reduce it to a tenth of the normal work rate uh, unless I'm absolutely certain it's uh, well, if I were trying the program a second time around, yeah, it's cutting air again. We'll come back. That's the machine now taking a full cut. And the soft jaws are gripping the work nicely, so I've got no worries there. That's pretty good. I'm well pleased with the result. So, I'll get the first piece out. Well, not the first one. This is it. It's definitely a scrap job. But it's just nice to test everything out. The next phase of this uh, job is, well, the final phase of making fixtures. The idea is I will cut half of this into one uh, side of that chunk of metal. The zero point starts around about here, so it'll cut half a profile. And the idea behind that is when it's inverted, I can then wedge or place the finished article or the almost finished article on its side in a horizontal position and machine this slot in the end of it. I'll see if I can find the part. It is kicking around somewhere in this junk heap. Oh, there we are. 
there has to be a slot in this end here which is flush with this flange here a three millimeter slot so that's the that's the idea behind the fixturing so you'll see the the fixtures when I fix so now we can see the part being cut or the half part being cut if you like see the tool path on the on the screen here it's looks quite good and it's got about six passes to make well, there you see the cut part. I'll just take this uh, cloth and wipe it out, and uh, that's it there. I'll put the camera down and uh, set it up so you can see how it uh, how it works. Well, here you can see the slot being cut in the end of the work. We'll see how it progresses. I'll have to keep an eye out on the tool holder. It should be okay to clear the tool, uh, but I'll just keep an eye on it. We'll see. You can see in the vise at the moment I've just finished making mark a, a fixture, Mark II fixture for gripping this suspension part for a model truck so I can cut the slot in the end of it. Originally I had, had this slot here cut out in the same profile as the, uh, as the component. Uh, that's the base flange of it there, that shape was filed, it was uh, machined out so I could set the, set the component in here after it had been thicknessed. However, when I did try it, it shifted while I was machining it. And also, there was just too much pressure applied by the vise on the component. And it crushed crushed the part a little bit. So I wasn't happy with it. So I re reconfigured it. And it's much better now. You can see when I take this apart, how it's arranged. I've got a couple of little packing pieces. Well, I've got a couple of wavy parallels underneath to keep it up to the correct height but a couple of packing pieces, bits of broken hacksaw basically it's much better this because all the pressure from the clamping force is taken across the, this flange here um, and you can see it's uh, <laughs> I don't know how it's got in so tight but it is, it's in very tight that actually, I'm surprised it was a lovely close fit uh, machining wise. I had to cheat a little bit and tell it the cutter was slightly smaller than it is to get this to fit in but it's it's a good fit that's for sure. I'll have to knock that out I think but um, there you can see the, the idea behind it so that the pressure is applied all around rather than in fact if, uh, if I clean that off you can see the crush mark of the vise along here uh, just it's there's not much in it, but it's uh, you know there's a step there, and it's not meant to be like that. Well, we're just coming to the end of the final cut now, holding uh, the work. Very close fit. In fact, a bit of movement on the door. There you can see how close a fit it is. Obviously, you have to clean it up every time. I reference, I reference it against these jaw, the back of the jaw here, each time. But it works well. So here you see the cutting of the slots, the fixture being used uh, for it. Slacking off the vise. Move my packing pieces from the back jaw of the jaw, and don't drop them down. Displaced my uh, wavy parallels, but never mind. And there you see the jig for a fixture. Or that. It's uh, it's really working quite well. In fact, it's working very well. As you can see, the slot is nicely cut, nice and even.